everybody, it's Laura from Carries Changeworks. I hope you're well and I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I want to chat to you about body language and you're going, body what? Yes, body language. And let me tell you a secret. You're already very fluent in understanding this language because it's something you use every day of your life without realizing it. So body language is all about how somebody projects themselves. It goes from their eyes to the way they're speaking, to the way they're standing, whether they're facing you, looking at you, not looking at you, walking away from you, turned away from you. It's all about how they're projecting their bodies. And a lot of the time, if you look at that and you do subconsciously when you're speaking to people, you can see what their true feelings are. Now, 50 to 70% of our communication is actually on body signals. So they always say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. So if somebody is very open to you and they look you in the eyes and they smile, you know you're in a good place. And that person is willing to listen to you and interested in you. But if they're looking down and kind of look bored and things like that, um, you'll know that they're not in a good place. It's like if you're sitting in a class or a work situation or a meeting and somebody's droning on and on and on about a particular subject and you're really bored. You can look around you and see the facial expressions of the people. Half the time you'll see they're bored or they're rolling their eyes in irritation, things like that. Now kids, teenagers are brilliant at the eye roll, let me tell you. Then another one is, um, is the person facing a group? So if you're walking along and you're seeing a group of friends, um, chances are they'll be very open to one another because they'll be standing quite relaxed with you know either their arms next to their sides or hands in their pockets that, that's pretty much open facing one another but if you look at somebody who's having an argument a couple or a friendship group that's having an argument you will see that they, there's a lot of frowning and um, very stiff body language and they'll be aggressive towards one another without even saying words you would see that okay that's not a situation to go to because there are a lot of gestures and you know, frustrated. If you think of um, those old Italian movies where the, the, the mom's giving the dad a lot of grief, there'll be a lot of finger pointing and things like that. That's body language. So um, it's a very interesting topic. Um, you are fluent in it without realizing it. So yes, um, I'm not going to go too much into the other gestures, but I do want to say, everybody says, oh, if somebody's got crushed arms, they're not in a good situation. You know, they, they, they're not approachable. I beg to differ. I have a friend who, um, when he stands with his arms crossed and he's talking to you, he's actually listening and observing the things going around him. So don't always judge somebody just because their arms are crossed. They might just be comfortable. And uh, I tend to do that as well. If I'm sitting at a table listening to somebody, I have my arms crossed as well. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. So just make note of that one. But Mark is doing a whole series on body language. So if you want to learn more and specific things, specific gestures and that, and it's, it's piqued your interest, please watch that series. So as usual, if this video helped you in any way, please like, share, subscribe. We need lots of subscribers, guys. Come on, get it going. Thank you so much. And if you have topics or comments, please do so in the box below or send us an email and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.